and John McLennan here, and in this video, you're gonna learn how to play No More Mr. Nice Guy, as recorded by Alice Cooper on guitar. Now this song has some great classic rock guitar playing in it. We're gonna kick this lesson off with that classic intro figure, and then I'm gonna take you through a main guitar part through the entire song. And if this is the first video of mine you've seen, I've got a gift for you. If you wanna learn how to come up with awesome rock guitar parts like this, and learn how to map out your entire fretboard so you're not lost when you look down at the neck, you're gonna to want to grab my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is going to tie right in with today's lesson because a lot of the chord shapes we're covering in this Alice Cooper song, you'll see on this fretboard guide. And all you got to do is go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below to grab your copy completely for free as my gift to you. So hope you enjoy that. And with that said, let's dive into this song. Let's break down how to play No More Mr. Nice Guy as recorded by Alice Cooper on guitar. And we're gonna start off with the intro figure that's really based around an A power chord here. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So we're starting out on an A power chord, but higher up the neck, I'm starting on the fourth string at the seventh fret. Then I'm playing seven, nine, and 10. Just going string to string there. So seven on the fourth string, nine on the third string, and 10 on the second string. So that's an A power chord there. We're gonna strum that twice, and we only wanna play those strings so all the other strings around it are muted. Then we're gonna take that 10th fret, that pinky note on the second string, and drop it down to eight. So we strum that chord there once. So it's twice here, one, two, then once here. Then we're gonna take off our ring finger and bar with our index finger. We're gonna play seven, seven, and then eight. And that chord's gonna be strummed twice. So it's two, one, and then two. So. One and two and three and four and one and those little rests in between those chords there, so. Then we do this little lick. That's the open third string. Then slide from seven to nine on the fourth string. Then grab seven on the third string. And then nine, seven, zero. This is a double pull off on the fourth string here. So nine pull off to seven, and then seven pull off to open. It's really cool sound there. So those two bars combined, which make up this figure, sound like this. Then you restart. So that's the intro figure. Then from there, we move to a B minor chord for a bar, and then an E for a bar. And then that's gonna be repeated three times. So we essentially have. Now the main rhythm here is sort of this eighth note feel. So one and two and three and four and it's sort of the underlying rock rhythm there. But I'm gonna play two quarter notes, one, two, and then I'll play two eighth notes, three and, and then one final quarter note for beat four. So one, two, three, and four. Now sometimes you can go 
and take this E chord here and make it an E sus by adding your pinky to the 10th fret of the second string and then it comes off. So that would just be two beats on each chord. So you'll hear that sometimes in there or you could just play an E power chord over all of that like. Then the verse comes in there on this A chord. And the lyric cue there is, I used to be such a sweet, sweet thing. And we're gonna play this for the next four bars. Then it restarts. So these are some common rock rhythm guitar chords here. I'm playing a bar chord at the fifth fret, just five, seven, seven, six, five, five. That's your A chord. Then you go to C sharp minor which is from the fourth string down, just four, six, six, five, four. Then G, which looks like the A, just two frets down. And then we'll do this little move in the last bar. And that's B minor to D to E, like this. One, two, and three, and four, and then reset. One, two, three, four. These are just whole notes. Four, one, two, three, four. Then one, two, and three, and four. That's the verse goes two times. Then we go to this part where he sings, I've got no friends. One, two, three, and four, and into the chorus there, no more Mr. Nice Guy. So a couple new things going on here. The first chord is a new chord, F sharp minor. It looks like your B minor, right? Like what we were playing up here at the seventh fret. You just bring it down to the second fret. Then we'll go to B minor. Here I'm gonna play a different voicing. You could go back up to seven here, but I like just going right underneath, grabbing that one there, which is just two, four, four, Then we're gonna go to D and up to E, and those are just standard bar chords there. Now here for this pre-chorus, each chord lasts one bar. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, E, two, and then repeat. But we've got a slightly different strumming here. Here we're gonna go. So that's two quarter notes, one and two and, then I'm playing on the and of three, three and four and, then resting. One and two and three and four and, one and two and three and four and. Just put that with the chords. Then we go into the chorus and that's where they sing, no more Mr. Nice Guy, here's what it sounds like. Then we're back to the intro figure after the first chorus. So what I played for the chorus here, no new chords, we're just going F sharp minor, D to E, or those are our chords. We're gonna start F sharp minor, one, two, then go to D, three and four, and then E on the and of four. One, two, three and four, and. Then we'll let that ring, then we'll play beat two, two, and then move it down. Three and four and, so one, two, three and four and, two, three and four and. Then the second time around, we start the same way. One, two, three and four and, but this time we go. Do that little line there, I'm playing the notes F sharp, A to C sharp. So one, two, three and four and. So 
So that goes twice, and then as I mentioned, we go back to the intro figure. <laughs> After the intro figure, we actually jump to the pre-chorus again, the I've Got No Friends. chorus is the same. Now when we end the tune, we actually play we play that figure and you repeat it. So instead of going back up to this E, what I do is I just play the open E and repeat this part. And just repeat those notes there and then when you're done you end on the A chord. So remember that to put a song like this together, you're using a number of techniques. You're playing some rhythm, then you're moving into almost some lead style stuff, like at the beginning of this song with that intro figure, and then you move into the chorus that has some syncopated rhythms and moving different chord shapes around the neck. So take your time with this and know that it takes time to learn this stuff. So be patient and just rewind the video and go over any parts that are unclear clear and really what you got to do is you've got to keep playing and that consistency is really going to help you get better and to help you even more be sure to pick up my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below and this is going to show you my system for mapping out the fretboard it's going to show you the five must know chords and scales to play in any style anywhere on the neck and you can get it completely for free as my gift to you for watching this video today, just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. Next, I want to hear from you. Leave a comment and let me know your biggest goal with guitar right now. Just comment it down below so I can make some more videos here on the channel helping you out. As always, thanks for your support and we'll catch you in another video real soon.